lock system. And then when it can't find it, its default is the mechanical lock system, which is those pressures of the gaps being hit acting as springs, as opposed to electron recombinants acting as trapezoids. When the electric, is bit my tongue when the electric grid is being as a lock. You can have a lock being electric or a lock being um, mechanical. In this day and age, it's just the stopwatch can be mechanical or digital. Same concept, just with a bit different lock. And that's why um, chainsaws, it's like an engine inside of a car, but a lower level because it doesn't have as much to it. It's just like a lock is the same as a watch. It's just with one extra adaptation. tell you what the third dimension stands for 
and that's what the time waning and the scale is able to deduce. I think that if you had an entire row of like cornrows, but then if you know anything about them, if you look at them in a corner, it's a multiple complexity where all the rows are acting as separate, um, separate blockades onto each other so that only if you're linear, you can see through like down one row or what have you. And so if you have all these statues uh, in like law where a statue is a certain thing that prohibits or allows, but they're so confusing. So if you have all these different statues that are hiding something that you're looking for, for me, it's just like the ultimate ability to um, have civil liberty. So whatever that means to you, for me, it would be like having all these statues, like real statues though, because in each town there's so many across the entire land, having them all at like different corn fields that are in their grades and then looking down the road and seeing the answer at the other end through all of them uh, being as if they were corn in a cornfield. I think that would be more difficult than just corn because corn all has the idyllic uh, same shape conceptually even though they're grown differently. But in statues they would have even more the disassembly of different positioning so it would be uh, that much more extravagant if you could have them be a certain distance apart or make for a perfect alignment between uh, you looking through them at the right rows instead of at the corner and seeing the open at the other end be as perfect as if it were just regular corn. And so that gives a whole different dimension through what it means for linear um, passage. And then Jack, when Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch pill of water, this is gonna tie in with the hermit um, as opposed to like a conspiracy with Jack and the Beanstalk and Jack and Jill being the same character. Uh, this hermit is gonna have to traverse the crypt as if it's a uh, hill and the pail of water. Uh, let's just have it invocate something a bit different. Like giant um, furnaces in the Titanic. If you have a vessel that big, it seems a lot more normal. So if you make everything, the entire world, a giant padlock, you're going to be able to run everything on your time as a clock to the padlock. And that's why the one world, so that their timing belt on their time. What I'm trying to invocate with the, the horror story of Jack and the Beanstalk is if the Beanstalk was an environment that was like an entity artificial beanstalk and grew inversely and made like a world of horror as a crypt underground instead of like a castle in the sky that had a goose and a golden egg and a harp with Jack, Jack, Jack the giant for after escaping. It would be um, opening a can of worms with this different story is like if you can invocate all these neutrinos and then something more then actually a neutrino would cover both electric and mechanical because it's it's neutral but it's always interacting everywhere so it's bound by chemi by the electric so the magnetism of the electric are intertwined with kinematic and that's how a neutrino would be able to deduct cotton from almost any material especially if it has the electron uh, recombinant magic number uh, which is a design and a configuration. If you saw things popping up randomly, that was like a red balloon for it, or just like clothing that was striped like that glove back there for Freddy Krueger, and then you know that you'd be cursed. That would be like how the Jack and the Beanstalk would have a bad beanstalk going down ingrown. The worst ingrown root in history would be an offshoot of Jack and the Beanstalk's beanstalk. 
Pirates of the Caribbean bootstraps, bootstraps.